We're gonna rank every sword and shield set from worst to first. The worst set in sword and shield is... Rebel Clash. I'm not feeling anything with this set. There just aren't that many good cards in the set. Nothing it's memorable. Not, uh... So that's why it is the worst set in Sword and Shield. It's a forgettable set, but it does bring back some good memories to me. You know? It was a simpler time. A simpler time before. Which was uh, only a few years ooh, ago. Hey, look at that though. That's great. Okay, that, those are some good artworks though. Yeah, the bar and everything. Not saying it's a bad set. The Cliff Fable Hall. Look. Next up, we have Darkness Charizard. It's crazy because this was a popular set at first because of the Charizard D-Max. But more Charizards came. Man, now there's so many better Charizards and I, there's nothing special about it. The Charizards are dope. I do remember there was a good Crobat card and that was actually really playable and expensive. Oh, I remember you would always talk about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I dabble both of them. Ooh. Is there, is there, oh no, I think I think a card was just kind of jagged. It was still cool though. It was, I, was, I thought that was a cool artwork. Oh, I was even looking. Sorry, a little skitty. Skitty. Yeah. I do Darkness like of Blaze. Darkness. You know, are we ever gonna open up Darkness of Blaze? This is our last Darkness of Blaze pack ever. No, it's not because we gotta do better than that. Hate on me all you want, but Champions Path, eh? And th this was actually a ten or eleven dollar pack, so it's a very expensive pack for being the third worst. And we're arguing right now. It's a great ripoff. I say that there's the Charizard, the shiny one from Shiny Star V, and you. This is known for the rainbow. Charizard. I think it has that, so we are putting that on the screen. Whoever's right, I don't know, or maybe I can pull it right now and prove it. Ooh, hey, that's, that's how you doing? That's dope. You know, I think. Mmm, claymations. I'm. Oh, it's cool. This, this is okay. This is a ten dollar pack. Come on. Um. I think there's a hollow no matter what. That's actually, I'm actually happy about that. Cinescorch hollow. So that's champion's path for you. I'm excited for this. I don't even think we've really opened up sword and shield. So the first sword and shield set is the fourth worst. And that's really not fair. There are some really good sword and shield sets out there. There's the gold Zacian Zamazenta. I mean, is that it? And that's great. Oh, that's that's a good point actually. I forgot, I forgot that those could yeah. be What the? Yo, did I just get two energies in this pack? Rank up, rank up, air packs are awesome. Dude, that was actually weird. We yeah. need to see, and they're both. Okay, hold on. No, 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 no. This is on camera, this is on. Okay, so we just got four energies in this pack. That's hilarious. What the hell? It would be nice if it was the other way around and they're all good cards. Right, we could I mean, are you gonna get something good? We, we could have had are you gonna get nothing? Moment. Are you gonna... Did that just happen? All right, battle styles. You know what? Was this the first set with alternate art cards? Mm, no. <laughs> you just... No, but seriously though, there's that Tyrantar, remember? Tyrantar, Eden, chilling, enjoying the, life. The Tyr 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 Tyranitar is the best. Yes, yes, and... Nope, chilling rain. Ironically, my chase card, the um, Ice Rider Calyrex, I just bought at Comic Con, so <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny. I chose this pack to open. You know what though? Chilling Rain is a cool set. I love the vibe. My first pack of Chilling Rain, I actually pulled the Ultimate Art Mold Trace, which is sick. Hey, that's nice artwork right there to layer on. So no, this is a good set. I like this. I would. Ooh, I would. Nice. What? What? The artworks. If I mean, look at that. I'm keeping. Yeah, that. yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I like yeah, the, yeah. My set Enjoy the, the artworks. Keep the common. cards, even if they're common. Um, There's good stuff. I would really like that Zapdos salt art. I really like yeah. it. I, I, I yes. really like it. Okay. That ain't it, but okay. it's cool. Astral Radiance. Hey, I got for $5. That's actually not a good deal. There are some sick alternate arts. And you know what? It was during the We Love the Sinnoh era. And this was help promoting the Sinnoh with the, with the game. Yep, Legends Arceus. That was a fun time. For us Sinnoh fans, I don't know. I thought I saw something shiny. Oh, I think you got a hitter. What do I want? Keep what do I want? I love the Dialga Yo, and Palkia, but I really like that V-Drill. The alternate art V-Drill. You got something good, Corey. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Ayo, Rainbow Rare, Secret Rare, the Bat Secret Rares, ah. There we go. Goodbye, Sword and Shield. There are no longer gonna be Rainbow Rares, which it's probably a good thing. Next up is actually a really cool set, Pokemon Go. It has some cool cards, but not really. No, they do. They do. They do have cool cards. Come on. It, it was just like, there's there's just not a whole lot of cards in the set. They did it off the app. That's really cool. It was cool. And this is actually a really fun set. When this set came out, we actually did a video where whatever Pokemon 
Well, we pulled an Apom. We had to catch an Apom Pokemon Go when we did that challenge, and I may or may not have lost, and hey, there's not an Apom. Anyways, it's a good video. It's a great set. It's a great set. Great. Wait, oh, I didn't check if there were Dittos. No there reason. were Dittos. There were peelable Dittos. Did I get one? I'll look at them for you. Okay, but you want to see? Hollow? There's at least a Hollow. Yeah. I'm going to make a statement. I'm gonna make a statement. I think the Aerodactyl alternate art from this set, Lost Origin, I haven't said that yet, is the best artwork of Sword and Shield. That's bold. Yeah. You know what though? He's right. The Garatina in this set is the most expensive card in Sword and Shield. Wouldn't you agree? It is, it's, it, I think it is. Well, there's an Umbreon on VMAX. Besides that, but it's such a good card and you'll be surprised that there's still so many other packs, but Come on. There's what are you gonna do for us, Lost Origin? Nice and easy. Uh, Ooh, hey! It's a double hitter pack. Gardenia's Roserade and... Okay, an there you go, there's your Aerodactyl. So I think we're going around the upper tier. You might hate me, this set does have really hard pull rates, but there are some really nice cards, but you people don't feel like there are nice cards. It's a really good set, it's underrated, but... Incredibly underrated. Fusion Strike is awesome. And you know what? My favorite Pokemon Celebi. There's a Celebi yeah. Ultimate Art I've said in so many other videos. I will pull someday. I haven't. Espeon, Ultimate Art, Gengar, Ultimate Art, Genesect, Ultimate Art, yeah. the Celebi. I mean, it really is a underrated. So set. yeah, you might be surprised it's this high up, but it's good. It's good, and I'm gonna open up a lot more Fusion Strike. Man, I'm here at Leon's pop-up shop. They were 80 bucks a box for, for that and shit. I know. I have old pieces. I know. I know. Hey, that's nice. I mean, I'll take you gonna hit on Butterfree? You gonna hit on Butterfree? Well, this is where the fun begins, cause I'm cracking open a Shining Fates. I really like this set. I really like this set. I mean, it's just so great. Coolest card in the set. We're gonna say on three. One, two, three, sweet two. <laughs> <laughs> I, I pulled him just then. Um, <laughs> no, that sweet coon is so nice. Yeah. What I really want to pull yeah, yeah. is probably... Oh shoot, there's something good in there. I guess I guess a Charizard then, I mean... Just ju just just because like all the like Chase cards I wanted, I kind of already spotted. Yeah, that's such a nice Oh! Hey! Right on. Right that's, on. If you don't know, Shiny that's a good pull. This set is really nice. That's all I can say. Silver Tempest. I mean, is that cool? Silver Tempest. I love the logo. I love the feel of it. I don't even know what the feel is, but Alton Arts. It's a, it's kind of a nautical theme. What does that what does that even mean? Like, you know, I pictured the Lugia Alton Art, they're on the boat. Not nautical. Like picture like uh, SpongeBob and Mr. Krabs are on the SS Cheapskate. That's <laughs> nice. Um What? It, what? That's an awesome card. Fantastic. For some reason I forgot about that. Fantastic. Okay. But yeah, nautical. Silver Tempest is really cool. And it got shadowed so quickly. I remember being so hyped. Glaley, Rapidash Hollow. Hey, it's cool. It's time for Vivid Voltage. When I think of this set, I think of uh, the end of an era. Pokemon got really crazy when this set came out. Everyone wanted, the everyone wanted their Rainbow Pikachu. Back there. Yeah, and you know, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be all uh, depressing, but yeah, it was this time that um, Pokemon changed and brought in a lot of. Uh, followers like us. No, no, <laughs> no, but this is actually a great set. I mean, hold on, hold on. Something good. Man. We didn't get one, but. Amazing Rares, ah, I died it. Great looking cards. What'd you pull? Something, man. Cool. I have never had so much fun opening up a set when Celebrations came out. Oh, it's so cool. It's not a legit set. Uh? I don't know what that means. It's a side set or a subset? It's a subset. It's just like Shining Fates, but I pulled the Charizard. I've never pulled a base set Charizard before. It's just it was just this older card, sub, what's it called? The retro, vintage. Classic. Classic. This set will have a nice, a warm place in our hearts. Oh, it was so much fun. Pull a Mew. Pull a Mew, Yux from Legend Maker. Mega Rayquaza EX from Roaring Skies 2015. Nice. Like, that's so nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And behind it is the Mew, but you really wanted to pull a gold Mew. So, incredible set. Our top three, baby. Brilliant Stars starts it off. 
Yes. <laughs> yeah, the Charizard's awesome. The Arceus is awesome. I already bought the Arceus just because I was tired of opening packs. So I guess I'll go for the Charizard now. Ooh, or a Charizard Full Art V, because I think that also looks equally mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Brilliant Stars is equally such a nice good. set. And uh, it, it's just cool too. Brilliant Stars. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good set. Hey, it is a good set. That's fun. The bow toy. Yep. Yep. Oh, we and we could get the trainer galleries. Yeah. Oh, La Lost Origin. We didn't talk about you could get that a Pikachu V Max trainer gallery. Oh, that yeah. That was yeah. Lost Origin, I think. Yeah. So, Star Raptor. I, Still a good set. If you haven't been living under a rock, you should know what the last two sets are. But. Crown Zenith is the second best set in Sword and Shield. Nice. Too many good cards. Like, too many, it's overwhelming. Too good, I can't even open. There we go. But there are so many good cards in this set, guys. You know, you really haven't opened a whole lot of mm -mm. Crown Zenith either. Mm -mm. So I'm happy for you. Thank you. Thank you. But, oh, I. Name a card. What's an amazing card? The Manaphy is incredible. The Dark Rise is incredible. The Latios. The Beast. I don't, I don't know if we pulled the Latios mm. yet. So yeah, this is a great set. It'll be popular. Nice. Kyogre and Lightheart, but really good. <laughs> the best set in Sword and Shield is an easy one. It is Evolving Skies. You bandwagon, you follower, you, you uh, you I know. are. No, absolutely correct. It's a great set. The Moonbrion, guys. Back in my day, I bought a booster box when it came out before it was to the moon. No pun intended. Yeah, prices. but this set, guys, is crazy. Crazy. Too many good alternate arts. Why did they choose to have all the Eevee Illusions get an alternate art in one set? That's insane. Not to mention the Dragonite, the Moonbrion, Rayquaza. It's really good, guys. So to finish off, Sword and Shield! Zampharos ready for... Scarlet and Violet. All right, that is it. Sword and Shield is done. Bye. Um, we're moving on to colors now. Scarlet and Violet. Uh, maybe next time will be uh, Spoon and Fork. Spoon you and Fork. You never know, but yeah. see ya, Sword and Shield.